I'm really excited to be starting a brand new project building Bernard to Kip's simple regulator. And this isn't your typical clock in that his goal was to create a highly accurate regulator with a simple design. And what makes this one really stand out is its escapement. So unlike traditional clocks where the pallets are mounted on the arbor connected to the crutch, in this design the pallets are mounted directly to the pendulum. That makes the escape wheel impulse the pendulum directly and minimises any disturbances and also helps improve timekeeping accuracy. It's an unusual setup and part of what makes this clock so fascinating to build. There is an incredible thread over on the National Association of Watch and Clock Collectors and I'll pop a link in the description. And this attempt really wouldn't be possible without Steve, who's been building a version of this clock over the last few years. He's kindly shown me his plans and 3D models and with those and the pictures I've gathered, I'm hoping to get something up and running. Okay, so we need the top brace piece now. Um, and sadly, I've not got any brass um, this size. It's quarter, uh, half inch even, um, and quite long, about 85.5 centimetres to be specific, and about 72 millimetres across. Um, well, that's the dimension it needs to be. This is slightly over that. So we're gonna have to turn this uh, piece of aluminium and use that for now. Uh, if this all works out to plan, I don't know if I've already spent it on the brass uh, back plates, but I think just for the sake of carrying on moving, I'm just gonna use this piece of aluminium for now. Thrown up a little bit of a burr on the edge, but quite a nice finish. That's all the sides now done. I don't really, uh, don't like the face of this, but I don't really have much material to uh, clean that up, so I might just paper that down. I have to say, I've always used cheap um, deburring tools, but I just got this one, and it is really nice. Comes in a little set, and pretty sure this is only aluminium, but Really does a nice job. That's a little set that I was talking about. Really nice and I've never had this whole deburring tool and that's exceptionally good. Really useful, I wouldn't be without one of those now. Okay, so there's a small selection of parts that I've made. The front plate, back plate, two bottom pillars, and then uh, frustratingly in aluminium, that top top plate. Uh, I'll have to get that cut in brass at some point when I can afford that chunk. All right, let's get this assembled and see what it looks like. Well, there's the final frame assembled. It's looking quite good. All seems nice and true. So next steps, the more exciting part now. Uh, gonna start doing the pendulum mount uh, and then the pendulum uh, and then we'll work down towards the wheels. All right, well, nice exciting project. Hopefully you'll follow along with this. See you next time. Thanks for watching.